said exam time i could hear your voice properly go somehow go don't panic don't panic it's okay you can do it it's okay okay it's uh, okay totally i could hear your voice so loudly actually actually you used to say uh, you are in my 100 percentile list and i actually worked so hard that uh, i will give you not only jrf uh, but the rank also like 100 percentile Hello everyone, myself Vodnala Shivlingam, a qualified Najjar in Commerce. I am a verified educator at an academy platform for teaching to the UGC net paper 1 and paper 2 commerce in the English medium of instruction. Guys, you can watch my daily free live session and plus courses at an academy pl uh, plus platform for the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce in the English medium of instruction. Follow the simple steps. Just go through with the link given in the description. My profile of an academy is given in the description. Click on the follow button. After that, you can just see there are various courses which are available at a plus subscription. You have to take a plus subscription in order to access to all these courses. And uh, you can also see uh, there are batch courses which are going on for the paper one and paper two of a various educators and me. And you can just see uh, there is a special classes section. These are daily free live sessions at an academy. It will happen. Just click on the CR button so that you can see upcoming live sessions which are scheduled. So whatever the upcoming live session which are scheduled, just go to that and uh, uh, click on notify me. Once you click on notify me, it will ask you the invite code if you are a first time user of an academy. Then in such case, enter the invite code Shiva Live to unlock the free live sessions as well as the same code you can utilize for taking an academy plus subscription to recognize as my student as well as to get 10% additional discount on the plus subscription amount. Let's meet in the free live session. Hello everyone, as part of the UGC Net 2021 results, now we are with All India rank number 100, that is Jarav Shama Mishra in Commerce in the UGC Net 2021 examination. She has cracked with a 99.94 percentile and that with 100 uh, rank uh, she secured in uh, Commerce. So let us try to interact with her to get more insights about her preparation journey and the strategies that she followed to achieve this uh, big success. Hello, Shama. First of all, a big congratulations to you, not just qualifying with a JRF, but to qualifying with a All India rank. How are you feeling about it? Hello, sir. First of all, I want to thank you for uh, selecting me for this interview. And I am grateful for an academy to provide so much opportunities and uh, benefits. And yes, uh, uh, it's a really a dream come true situation from, for me. So if I go into the preparation journey of your 2021, so uh, whether this was your first attempt or the, uh, like which attempt? Are you given the exam for the first time? No, sir. This is actually my third attempt. Okay. Uh, uh, my first attempt was uh, during my MPhil time. Uh, but uh, then due to time management, I could not uh, uh, prepare well uh, during that time. Then uh, second attempt was uh, on 2020, there I qualified JR, qualified NET, yes. and this attempt again JR. JR. Yes. So uh, during your preparation time, when you sat for the preparation so seriously during the 2021, how uh, well you planned for the paper one and paper two, the classification of the timing in a day? So, how your time management used to be there, daily routine? So, actually, uh, during uh, it took around one year for the preparation. So, I got so many times. During my first phase, uh, I usually follow your classes blindly. Like uh, from 8 a.m. to night, uh, 9 p.m., whatever class it is uh, there, I used to do that. Then... Uh, uh, after uh, completion of all the classes all over the day, I at night time, I used to revise that. Like uh, I used to solve around 50 questions or 100 questions sometimes with you and other educators also. And I used to at night, I used to uh, go through all those questions because uh, during cl classes, uh, it is uh, due to time um, uh, time issue it is not possible to go through all the explanations yes but uh, at night time i used to 
thoroughly go through all those explanations one by one and uh, the questions i go wrong in the uh, uh, in the classes i used to note uh, that down in a in a note so okay. that uh, uh -huh. and and about your uh, theory theoretical preparation of the 10 units of paper 1 and paper 2 like mainly uh, apart okay. from the practice practice question will take it later but mainly if i can ask you more about the theory how well you prepared for the theory of a paper 1 10 units and paper 2 10 units sir uh, theory portions also i have done uh, many from your classes only and uh, some from talvir sir's classes and uh, logical reasoning from nobnam classes especially i like uh, her logical reasoning classes so much uh, and uh, <clears throat> uh, after uh, completion of each session uh, like if I am uh, doing management marketing with you and uh, people and environment with you, so same, uh, same uh, I used to do uh, revision also. Okay. At the same day mm -hmm. or after the class also. Sometimes. So that you can complete the entire thing on time. As for the lectures, uh, you are completing with you the only. Session. Yes. Huh. And uh, if I can ask you that number of hours that you given for a paper one and paper two in a day, apart from the lectures. Actually, I, I don't have a fixed timing because I have to do household work and I also uh, joined the coaching center, private coaching center. So whenever possible, I used to study. Whenever possible, I used to study. Your classes helped me so much. Like every classes after you, it's... Uh, uh, and your notes also that provided so many insight like every each and every PYQs are covered by that only mm -hmm. and uh, studying that really helped me a lot. Great. So if I can ask you more about the previous year question strategy for your JRO. So how well you plan for the previous year questions of both papers and if you have to give a number of years to be solved, how many years of a question papers that you solved? Sir, so I think 2019 and 2020 papers are uh, really crucial. But if you talk about 2018 to 2012, they are basics. Hmm. So first, first uh, you have to go through the, all the basics at least once or twice. And uh, 2019 or 20 question, I think I solved with you only hmm. for more than four or five times. Great. For paper one and for paper two, two or three times with you and with other other educators or educators also right so, and apart from your classes mm -hmm. i used to uh, uh, solve uh, raghav vadwa sir's classes mm -hmm. their kbc series is uh, really awesome they uh, uh, there are so many important questions and uh, very different questions also i solved with sir and I used to go to every educators like Navnam or Talvir sir, Talvir sir uh, for specially for PYQ sessions and expected MCQ sessions. Okay. Wherever the practice is available, they used to take maximum yes. benefit of the practice. Because An Academy is providing us so many educators. Correct. So at least uh, for concept classes, you should stick to only one or two educators. Mm. But uh, for uh, Practice purpose, we can practice. From all, we can go everywhere. Yes. Yes. Because we have to uh, like uh, compete in the leaderboard. That I should come on the leaderboard. That will motivate yes, yes. us to do more and more. And the practice also will improve conceptual clarity. That's also. so interesting. Also, we used to solve in point one seconds or point five seconds. Mm -hmm. And uh, in exam also, you can uh, feel that anxiety. Like I have to solve this right and right now, right now. Yes. That's it. And uh, uh, if I can ask you, how did you solve a PYQ when you are solving it also? Like, is it just with a question and answer or else did you use to maintain any notes that you are getting it from the PYQ you used to maintain any notes? Actually, I used to add each and every single points that are important to me in my note, in my running notes. Hmm. Like I have notes for everything, marketing or management or paper one, each subject I have separate notes. Hmm. So all those PYQs and MCQ relating to that particular subject, I used to add in that note only. So that uh, during before two months of the exam, you should uh, you should rely upon your own note. Mm -hmm. So in my note, all those minute minute points are already there. Correct. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Which are so, not covered I mean, by the theory will be covered only by the PYQs. Where we can yes, cover sir. the theory portion from the theory PDF and this PYQ portion from this yes. notes which we made it. Hmm. Total. I added total. all those points in my notes. Great, great. Total put together, it will become a complete preparation because without theory, we can't able to solve the PYQ. Without PYQ, we can't able to yes. uh, get a grip over the concept also. Hmm. That's a great. I thing. also made. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I also made note. For mocks and uh, uh, some expected questions separately, and added uh, not only the uh, question answer but also the concept. The teachers used used to tell the approaches also, like how to solve this question. I used to add that also, so that next time I am studying that I already know. Yes, I solved this and uh, like that only. The process also. Mm-hmm. If I have to specifically ask about the data interpretation and uh, reading comprehension part of the paper one and reading comprehension of the paper two, so how will you manage these uh, units? Sir, actually, I made a timetable and there was a, there was a to do list actually. Hmm. Paper one revision, paper two revision, one day RC, one day DI like that, and mocks paper one, paper two. So uh, I could not uh, do Delhi, DIA, and RC, but in between two or three days, I used to calc- do all that. Mm-hmm. So I already made that a practice. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, in between that, uh, once your series came, na, mm-hmm. you solved uh, totally 2020 questions, 2019 questions. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, due to time constraint, I could not attend your classes, but I used to see uh, offline mm-hmm. and uh, solve uh, around uh, two or three classes uh, in a single day only. Mm-hmm. So that also helped me. Yes. And for RC also, you uh, made some sessions and uh, uh, RC, uh, you also provided one uh, combined PDF. Uh, uh, combined PDF, I grew, go through all that. And uh, uh, about the paper two RC, the paper two RC actually there is very less questions uh, regarding the paper two RC, and uh, in an academy mocks also there are not uh, so many questions. Right. So I solved only that. Those are available. Okay, okay. So because even the previous year also that is very less portion is available with respect to paper two mm-hmm. RC, but still. Whether you have uh, solved those uh, paper two RCs in the beginning of your paper two in the exam or else uh, directly at the end only? Sir, actually, uh, the paper one, I uh, solved uh, one by one, one, two, three, then 150, like that. But when it uh, the paper two started, one RC, it's so damn easy. I uh, did it then and there. But and uh, and Shama, if I can ask you about more the revision strategy, like 15 days or 20 days before the examination and uh, about the mock test mainly, did you give any full length mock test that is by sitting for three hours before the exam and uh, how well you tackle the revision? Uh, sir, before one month of uh, exam, I used to give several mocks. Uh, in my mocks, I also included the set examination papers like mm-hmm. AP set and uh, K set because that question are also new for me. Mm-hmm. But uh, I didn't uh, sit for uh, fully three hours because I used to analyze uh, each and every questions and uh, analysis took me around uh, two or three hours itself. Mm-hmm. So uh, if I am doing today uh, paper one, I used to do next day paper two like that only. Okay. And I used to analyze each and every questions and uh, why these questions is like that and uh, each questions why and how aspect mm-hmm. and uh, all the four uh, you know, options that are there, their explanation and uh, uh, their explanation also. Mm-hmm. I used to solve many mocks around uh, 20 to 30 mocks. Oh, 20 to 30 put together paper one and paper two. No, no, mix. Paper one, paper two, mix. Mix. Okay. Uh-huh. Great, great. And uh, actually that will... Uh... Paper two mock is uh, much hectic. Mm. Paper one mock is easy. It's one hour and analysis took uh, one or half an hour. Mm. But for paper two, it's uh, lengthy. Paper two sitting for two hours, then 
uh, much questions are out of the box sometimes and uh, some questions are uh, totally not understandable so that actually took time okay so it will actually make us to make a uh, time management uh, for the questions also it is not just for uh, getting a new concepts or uh, learning the things it is also time management is also more important while solving a mark so yes. and about a revision how will you uh, plan a revision uh, total one year i prepared notes and the notes are really concise involving pyqs and some important point also and uh, uh, before exam before one or two months before the exam i used to study all that thoroughly mm. Mm. and uh, if i am going for marketing i used to give uh, marketing two or three days and uh, study it properly then one day full revision of marketing and uh, the, uh, the day time i used to study paper 1 and the night time i used to study paper 2 as much as I, time i can give and after the completion of uh, the theory part i used to revise daily like if i am doing uh, pe uh, people and environment and marketing together mm -hmm. then i used to at the night time two hours for revision itself okay and uh, if i can ask you the final question that is how about the 3 hours of uh, exam day exactly an exam day how will you tackle that 3 hours can you please explain about it yes sir sir actually uh, when i uh, reach the venue and uh, i see uh, my computer is uh, not starting at all so they took around half an hour to fix my computer and uh, Uh, everybody started giving exam and i am just filling my name mm. and roll number mm. so um, that situation is uh, really pathetic for me and uh, after that uh, when i started uh, giving exam each question was taking uh, 30 seconds uh, to go for the next question mm. uh, there is a slight buffering there and in exam even one second also is important for us mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, after uh, before half an hour of exam uh, um, i don't know how it uh, struck to my mind that i should check the paper one once when i checked that around uh, uh, 12 to 15 questions that i attended and marked the answer are totally blank mm -hmm. there is a uh, no no even not mark as read uh, mark as read is uh, there mm -hmm. so again um uh, again i read the whole questions and attended uh, those questions mm -hmm. so actually for that uh, my paper 2 uh, uh, rc remained uh, unsolved mm -hmm. last last i didn't get time at all and uh, for each questions i marked a a a as answer mm -hmm. and my whole rc was wrong actually okay paper 2 in, in spite uh, of all these technical difficulties you are able to get a great score ha uh, sir but even after the uh, result when i see my marks uh, there are some questions uh, uh, that uh, i attended correctly are also wrongly put by okay. them mm -hmm. around 2 to 3 questions okay which were you attempted uh, one option and it is showing in your response sheet yes. another answer i think due to so many buffers and i put answers so many times Two to three times I put the answers because the computer is not taking my answer. So I think due to that, um, this happened. Two to three questions straight, uh, it's wrong. Yes. Due to technical difficulties, actually the distraction will be more and stress will increase in in that three hours because it's a one year almost. We prepared like anything. Only the yes sir. Uh, our our room knows about it. Our study room knows that, about that, it. in the exam time i could hear your voice properly go somehow go don't panic don't panic it's okay you can do it it's okay okay it's uh, okay totally i could hear your voice so loudly actually great great so but uh, very happy that in spite of the difficulties that we got it in the exam hall still god is there with us to help us in one way so yes sir we were able to manage but due to the, these uh, difficulties i was not sure about jrf and i was thinking about 
it's already one year and uh, if i am not uh, cracking jrf then what's my career it's going nowhere i am stuck in the room totally like that okay but you know god is seeing everything he will do yes. the things at a perfect time because uh, hard work will never pay off this is the thing which we got it today and uh, yes, technical difficulties has actually if you are uh, the technical difficulties were not there score would have been much more better already it is better and it would have been some more extra also now around uh, 200 exactly. you got it if it would have been more extra at least 6 to 8 marks you would have got uh, extra for sure mm-hmm. but so marks are not important school. finally you got a, a tag of the junior research fellow so that is more yes, important sir. finally you made it sir actually you used to say uh, you are in my 100 percentile list and i actually worked so hard that uh, i will give you not only jrf uh, but the rank also like 100 percentile mm-hmm. but somehow the situation didn't supported me well and uh, no issue if not 100 percentile you made it a all india rank number 100 so yes sir. that is that is much necessary and uh, that is actually motivating uh, the others also thank you so much uh, shama for sharing entire journey uh, with us and uh, all the best to your future and hours whether it is of your doctorate or assistant professor wherever you go the success is going to be there with you wishing you all the best and thank you so much uh, for sharing your journey sir, of your one year. last thing i want to say yes shama uh, the day i joined you joined you is actually the best day of my life because only due to uh, your faith on me i could achieve this because whenever you are achieving on the leader board na always the trust will be created on the student whoever is doing a daily work and improvising uh, daily automatically the trust will be increased uh, so yes, that sir. is how i created you a trust you supported me every every in every aspect you supported me mentally or uh, uh, whenever i got a doubt you used to solve that by night that day by night and yes you supported me so much thank you so much and for joining into my classes you are there in my classes thank you for that so that's all about the journey of a shama mesha and uh, who uh, has cracked the jrf in commerce with all india rank number 100 i hope you got uh, some insights about her preparation and uh, you can adopt the things whichever you liked it from her journey so that's all about this uh, video and we'll be meeting with the next topper in the next video till that time please do subscribe and uh, do hit the like button and share it with your friends thank you so much everyone thank you so much sir